Hey guys, we're gonna do a quick little video on this, uh, thing, uh, yeah, 2004 Mazda 6. Uh, it has an automatic, uh, controls for the climate. Um, so the issue we had with this car, it was, um, the heater blower didn't work. So, what you do down here, you can see on this driver's side, let's focus this a little, right there, that black relay right in there that's the blower uh, relay if that um, you want to replace it make sure it works there's also a 40 amp fuse inside the engine bay you check that and if it's good you want to make sure your controls are all working and all that if all that seems good and you replace them what you want to check is in here so there's the glove box Take it off, push in, push that in, push this in, falls out, you just take it out. Second, in here, let's see if you guys can see, let me turn on the flashlight real quick. Yep. Okay, so you would look inside, and in here, there's the, the motor, the heater blower resistor. And sometimes these go out, and when they go out, they'll normally, sometimes they don't let your blower motor work until the the power is turned all the way up. So it only runs on the highest power. So what you need to do is in here, so you can see, right there, where it's kind of clean, right there. And on the other side, there's two little screws. And they look like these. Let's see, you can focus, focus, focus. It's a star bit. It's one of these. And you can get these anywhere, Harbor Freight. And they're cheap. Um, so, what you do is you take those two off. You would undo these two clips. So, you would undo those two. And then you would undo this clip right here it's a push pin so you just push it right there and it will come out and all you need to do is get a new one throw it in and plug it in i kind of have it just sitting here for now these metal fins is for they kind of overheat sometimes so with the air going through these are cool fins so it cools down the resistor so that pretty much just controls the, the speed of your motor going. So you just pretty much want to make sure your connections are all good, your fuses are good, and your relay. If all else is working, you might want to check these out. These go for around 50 to 80 bucks. Usually you can go to a junkyard and pull one out for less than that. But you are running a risk of it not working. So, sometimes if you have the time and you feel confident enough, I recommend going to um, the junkyard and pulling one out, and then it should be good.